Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to learn about how to do the database health check for the Oracle Data Guard environment. You know that Oracle Data Guard environment is a solution for the disaster recovery. If one of the database goes down, which is on primary side, we should have someone, right? We should have something on the standby side so that there will not be any impact on the user application side. So because of that only Oracle have come up with the solution we called it as Oracle Data Guard Environment. Now there are many DBAs, they might be working as a Oracle Database Administrator along with this uh, Data Guard Admin also. Now you should know like what are all things that needs to be checked when you are working on the environment of Oracle Data Guard. So in this video, I will tell you how to do the database health check, okay? And I'm going to show you all those things practically. Before I show you all those things practically, let me give you one update that I'm going to start my new Oracle database batch, which is a new core, core Oracle DBA batch from next week. So if you are interested, you can just ping me on my WhatsApp number or you can reach out me on my email ID. All the details you can get it in the description section. And one more thing, if you are still not interested to join the batch, that's not a problem. You can see my video, which is completely free of cost on my YouTube channel. We have recently completed our 5000 plus subscriber. So please do like, subscribe and share this channel. With my channel, what I'm going to do nowadays, I started uh, providing the whatever the vacancies are coming related to the Oracle DBA or Hadoop. I'm just sharing it on my YouTube channel also. So this is going to be a really helpful for you. And on my Instagram profile, daily I'm creating a short video where I'll be talking about the Oracle database, interview questions, as well as about the different, different technologies. So you can follow me on the Instagram also. So let us go to my screen and let's see how you can do the Oracle database health check for the Oracle Data Guard environment. So right now on my screen, you can see there are two screen is there. One is a black screen and second one is the white screen. So this black screen you can consider as my primary database server and the white one which you can consider as my standby database server. Okay, so at this point what I'm going to do I'll show you like how you can do the database health check of Oracle Data Guard environment. So let me just connect to the SQL plus utility. Okay and i am also going to connect with the sql plus utility okay so let me connect with sql plus slash as sysdb okay and as you know that your standby database server okay it will be always in mount stage only so i have a list of script uh, which is already written on my blog you can just refer all the script okay so here I'm going to just fire my first script, uh, which is going to check the database status. Okay. So let me just copy this script on the primary and try to run it over here. Okay. So here you can see the name of my database is prime. Currently it is open mode and it is a primary database. The production mode is maximum performance. So primary database server will be always up and running. Now let's try to fire the same command on our standby database side. So let me copy the script and just go it over here and try to run it. Here you can see the name of my instance, it is a stand. Currently the instance, it is in mount stage. This is a physical standby database and the protection mode you can see over here, it is also maximum performance. Maximum performance is the default production mode for the Oracle data guide environment. Okay, so this is the first thing that you need to understand that whether your database are up and running on the primary database side and it should be on the mount stage on your standby database side. Okay, so this is the first thing. Now, the most important part of Oracle data guard environment is whether my database is in sync with the standby database or not. What does it mean and how to check that? Let's see now. So let me go to my blog, okay? And I am just going to check the whether my database is in sync or not. What I'm going to do? So I'm just copying this command and let me try to paste it over here, okay? Okay, so there is some issue with the command. Let me just go. And let me try to correct it okay 
because there is some bad character when we are writing it on the blog level so you just need to understand all the stuffs okay and let me try to run it here you can see the maximum sequence on my primary side that is showing it here as 26 so let me just check the same command on my standby database side here also it is showing as 26 now you should understand the concept of data guard environment if you are making some changes on the primary side all those changes will be recorded into redo logs or the copy of redo logs we called it as a archive logs now all these archives are passing or shifting from your primary side to standby side now here i can see uh, both the database are in sync because the maximum sequence of primary side and the standby side it is showing as 26 only now next thing what i'm going to check who is going to apply all those archive that will be applied with the help of mrp process so where it will reside it will reside on your standby side so what you need to check being oracle dba you also need to check whether that mrp process is running on the standby side or not if it is running then no issue your archive will get apply if it is not running then you need to start it so how to check whether your mrp process is up and running or not so there is a command let me check that command okay so here i can see let me copy it and as i said that this mrp process will be available on your standby side and here you can see the mrp process is up and running and it is waiting for the next log and that is 27 okay now what i'm going to do i'm just going to fire the command like oracle log list this will tell me that what will be the next log sequence see here the current log sequence the maximum sequence over here it is showing as 26 next log sequence which is a 27 and for 27 number only it is waiting by mrp process and this is what you need to check guys okay so till now we are good now what i'm going to do there is a situation where you need to start the mrp process and stop the mrp process how to do that let's do that now i'm going here and can you see that there is one sql command is there cancel the mrp process so you just need to fire that command and you can cancel the mrp process let me try to show you how to cancel it okay so i'm just making it as cancel okay so i just cancel it now if i'm firing that command which will check the status of mrp process i will not see that mrp process over here see you are not seeing anything related to the mrp0 because we just stop the mrp process now i want to start this mrp process okay so there is already command written on my blog you can get the link of this blog into the description section so i just copied it and let me try to paste it over here so that it will start the mrp process when you see this disconnect from session don't get confused otherwise you will find like okay my database will be down no 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 this is basically you know your mrp process will start in the background so that you will get that sql prompt back okay so here you can see that i just started my mrp process and i got my sql prompt okay so this is how you can start the mrp process now let's assume that you want to check how many archives has been shipped from primary to standby and how many archives has been applied on the standby database side is it possible yes it is possible and how to check that let me show you guys so i'm just looking for the command which will tell me the number of archives so let me fire it from the primary this is the command here you can see the current sequence number it is showing as 26 okay and let me fire the same command on the standby side also okay let me copy it and paste it here also i can see the current it is showing as 26 and this yes it means your archives are getting applied on the standby now if i'm doing some lock switch okay alter system switch lock file okay and let me do that few more times okay so i just done it now let me see what is the log sequence on primary now because we have just switched it from 26 to now it is showing as 32 right so the same 32 number should be available on my standby database side also right 
this is what we are going to check now let me do that and let me see on stand by set can you see still it is showing as 32 it means to say whatever the changes you are doing it on the primary side it is getting shipped that RKI on standby side and here I can see the 31 it is showing as yes uh, it means this RKI is also getting applied over here with the help of MRP process okay now let's say that you want to do some kind of troubleshooting you are facing some issue that your database not are in the sync and you want to do some troubleshooting with this data card environment so how to do that okay so basically we are looking for some logs okay all those log script you can get it over here okay so let me try to run this first script and it will tell you whether you have any issue I don't see any rows selected so there is no issue okay now let me check the second things also this will give you some more details and if you want just uh, some information related to the timestamp you can get it from here with the first script this is going to tell you like okay you just started the media recovery and it is waiting for the thread one sequence number 33 one thread can have a multiple sequence number okay and if you want to check the errors on your archive destination so you can check from here also I don't see any error on my data card environment it is looking absolutely perfect so this is how you can do the health check of your data guard environment all the script are already written on my blog you can get this link in the description section if you have any query queries just let me know guys okay you can just comment uh, in the description and definitely i'll be creating more and more videos in the future also okay so if you have anything in your mind and you want the video based upon that let me know definitely I'll be creating and as I said earlier I'm going to start my new Oracle DBA batch from the next week so if you are interested you can reach out to me on my whatsapp number or on my email id both the details you can get it into the description section only again you can follow me on the Instagram because nowadays I'm daily creating the videos and sharing it uh, on the Instagram profile so my Instagram profile also you can get it in the description section only. Okay. So all right. This is all done for today's I think. And uh, let me say some bye bye for all of you because this is Saturday and everyone want to enjoy right. So bye bye and see you again with the next video. Thank you so much for bearing me for so much time. Okay. Bye bye. See you again with the next video. Thank you. Please do like subscribe and share this channel.